Bannon comes from Goldman Sachs. Uh, Miller comes from the most openly racist uh, part of the anti-immigrant uh, movement. And after that, from uh, the office of then-Senator, now Attorney General uh, Jeff Sessions, uh, one of the most openly racist, uh, racist politicians in Washington. Uh, I was actually a little—I've actually been a little surprised that Bannon has lasted this long. Uh, not for any political reason, but just because a few weeks back uh, they put him on the cover of Time magazine and they start talking about him as a as the real president, and you wouldn't think Trump would uh, would tolerate that kind of thing. Whether he stays or goes matters in a certain sense because he's obviously a very powerful uh, advisor. But all it really matters for is the balance of the competing radical uh, rightist interests within the administration. So, for example, if the Bannon kind of neo-fascist, uh, racist uh, people uh, are uh, edged aside a bit, uh, maybe that means uh, more power for the Koch brothers' philosophy, or maybe that means uh, more power for the, uh, the mainstream uh, Goldman Sachs uh, philosophy, or maybe that means uh, more power for the radical, uh, intolerant uh, religious right. Uh, faction, or uh, maybe that means more powerful for uh, whichever company or foreign interest uh, made the biggest indirect payoff uh, to Trump and his family that particular week, uh, whatever. Uh, but the point is, the larger point is, that that's what this administration and this Republican group that now controls Congress consists of. All of these uh, uh, radical uh, factions uh, that mean increased suffering uh, and increased uh, death for, for the majority of people in this country and overseas, they are that now in there. They are now inhabiting uh, the state, and they sometimes clash among themselves.